Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel where I post videos every single day. I solve physics problems for fun and I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Without wasting any more time, let's start solving. So in today's video lecture, we'll be solving problem number 1.55 out of book Aptitude Test Problems in Physics by S.S. Koto. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So the question says, a symmetric blob of mass M1 with a notch of hemispherical shape of radius R, this is radius R, R rests on a smooth horizontal surface near a wall. A small washer of mass M2 slides without friction under the initial position from the initial position that is this from this position to washer slides down the block the hemispherical part of the block find the maximum velocity of the block so you have to find the maximum velocity of the block of mass m1 So, the block will touch the wall until the washer comes to the lowest position. So, after the washer comes to the lowest position, point A, the block will stay in this position, touching the wall. After the washer passes through this position, say to a position B, the block of mass M1 will start moving towards this direction until and unless the accelerations of the washer, the horizontal acceleration of the washer and the block are equal. And after some time, then the washer will come down in this way. After the accelerations are equal, the washer will come down to its lowest position giving the maximum velocity of the block v max so we have our so we have our momentum equations which are m2 root over 2 gr which is the velocity of the washer at this position as it descends a distance h which is R, the radius of the block, the hemispherical part of the block, the radius. So it is 2GR, root over 2GR, which is equal to M1V1, V1, the velocity of the block M1, plus M2V2, the velocity of the washer. So at this moment, when it is sliding downwards after it had attained the, a similar acceleration, the horizontal acceleration of both the blocks are equal up to this point when it descends and reaches the bottom position of the hemisphere, the velocity of the block will be maximum. Using the energy conservation law, we get potential energy of the washer M2GR which is equal to the kinetic energy of the block plus the kinetic energy of the washer. Equating these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, we get a value of V1 which is equal to 2M2 root over 2gr divided by m1 plus m2 and the value and the equation of v2 the result and equation of v2 m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2 root over 2gr so this this value is the V1 max. 
which is this equation this equation when the washer reaches the bottom position the lowest position after it had attained a height of h max and it comes down to this position giving us the final velocity the velocity maximum of the block m1 so we have a solution 2m2 root over 2gr divided by m1 plus m2 this is the maximum velocity of the block so thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe share like and also comment in the comment section below thank you